so we just want to start by talking about your type of home and are you a renter or an owner and I think I saw you mark owner owner yes okay and what type of structure is it it's a log cabin okay and just with the shingle roof log cabin shingle roof and just your family this is a single family yes single family okay and what date approximately did you move into this house it was we started building in 2007 we moved in Sometime in 2009, okay. summer of 2009, okay. June or July. All right. I don't remember the exact date. And have you always lived in the Deering area? No. I used to live in Warren County, and then whenever I got married, my husband lives in Deering. Okay. So I've been there for eight years now. Okay. But in the community area kind of for mm-hmm. a long time. Yes. All right, good. And is your husband, he from that area? Yes. All right. Born and raised grew up next door to where he lives now. That's really interesting. (laughs) So um, right now I also live in a single family home as well. Um, Could you tell me a little bit more about the home you live in? You mentioned it was a log cabin. I don't I don't know if there's anything special about it or. Um, It's a two-story house. Um, Just the outside of it's the logs. The inside's regular sheetrock walls. Lots of roof space. Good. Um, so have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property in any way, or as part of your business or part of a program through your utility? I didn't even realize that people around here were getting them on their roofs. I've seen the fields mm-hmm. of them, but I didn't, I didn't know people could put them on their roofs. I've only seen that in larger cities. Okay. So do you think if, if it, that was an option for you, would you consider rooftop solar if it was something, I mean? I, I would need some more information on that because I really don't understand. I mean, if it helps cut down your power bill, it would definitely be something to consider. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so if I were to be able to tell you that it's available and you did it this way, do you think you would want solar or rooftop solar? I mean, definitely something to look into. Okay. All right. And why do you think that it would be something you would consider? Is it just money-saving well, aspect? Well, money saving's good, but our location, we, we don't have any shade, like, on the top of the house. And like I said, there's it's a huge roof, so there's plenty of room for it. It's not like it would be in the way, and it would be in direct sunlight all day. Because like I said, there's no shade or anything. So, very good. All right. So, it sounds like it might be a good location Mm-hmm. All right, good. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general, not just specifically now to your home, but I'm going to give you this map of the United States. And if you would take the pen and circle the area where you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes. Anywhere on the country? Anywhere okay. in the country where you think the most is. No doubt about that. All right. So you've chosen the state of California. Mm -hmm. Um, What makes the people in California, I mean, well, first of all, what makes you think that area would have more solar power than Thompson McDuffie? Well, I visited California 10 years ago, and they already had some. So I've seen it there. They're a huge state. They have lots of land area to do that. Um, And everyone out there is so progressive and trying these new um, green methods and all that. So... That would be my guess. Okay, yeah. So the Texas would probably be my second guess because the land space there also. And so now with rooftop solar, it wouldn't necessarily be as yeah. big a land area mm-hmm. as those There again, yeah, farms, I'm thinking about the fields. Yeah. fields. But, um, but definitely, so the more progressive attitudes probably mm-hmm. than in Thompson McDuffie yes. in our general population. Definitely. Anything else about those people different than our local residents that might weigh into their decisions? Um, well, I mean, here in the South, everyone is set in their ways. They're not open to really new ideas without, you know, knowing more about it. Mm -hmm. I don't think solar is advertised enough for people to know that it's even an option. Okay, very good. Um, So now if we look specifically at our state, and I know that we may not be anywhere on the means as California and um, Texas that you mentioned, but is there a certain area of our state where you think there is more rooftop solar than other parts? I don't know. I know 
I'm circling it again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you can circle however. Well, you I want know. To I know the Atlanta area probably does, because um, they have all the hall, all the tall buildings and can put stuff up on their roof. But I don't know. Somewhere in South Georgia may too, because it's so blaring hot down there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe the South. Okay. In general. All right. And so you mentioned Atlanta. So what would make these people? Um, in the Atlanta area different than our Thompson residents. I know well, like I said, yeah, the tall buildings, there's not much room anywhere for you to do the fields, mm -hmm. so you would have to resort to your rooftop. And there's, like I said, so many tall buildings, and they have that rooftop capability. And they probably need all the energy they can get up there because there's so many more people, mm -hmm. so congested. That so, would be a good alternative for them. Yes. Do you think that there's a lot of people in that area with personal home rooftops? Probably. Okay. So, um, yeah. Because they're more forward thinking too um, in the big cities like that. Definitely. Do you know um, any of your close friends? Has anybody got rooftop solar? Maybe y'all have discussed roo rooftop solar. Is it anything? No, like I mean, radar? not the rooftops. I mean, I've seen the fields everywhere, but none on the rooftops. Um, why do you think? You don't know anybody with rooftop. None of your close friends or family have rooftop. Well, like What's I said, we're all that? living here in the South, setting our ways. That's too forward thinking for some people. They're fine with just paying the good old power bill like they normally do. And they probably think it is a costly thing to start off with. So.